Hiya, I'm back with another video regarding Maple Scouter. GMS just finished its update for version 249, which was the Minar Picnic update. And we just received the new character UI. I'll be going over how to fill out your Maple Scouter with the new UI. And we'll get started. Make sure you have your Maple Scouter open and the conversion help which will be both linked in the description below. Before we get started with anything, please do not translate your page to English. There seems to be a lot of issues with actually converting your stat and getting everything to work properly when you have translated it into any language. So I would just keep it in Korean. You can follow along with this video or go into the translated UI tab and look at the translations here. But with the new UI, everything should be very straightforward as it just goes in order. Let's get started. Press the button on the left of the left below the search bar to get started. Uh, I'll press this white button here to reset my page and we can get started. I'll make sure that my buffs, my decents are running and my familiars are on. To also check what buffs you should be running, you can go into the conversion sheet, go to requirements, and look for your class to see what buffs you should be having running. You can also look at the top to notice soul gauge should be at zero, should have Oz rings, fams on, etc. I'll start by inputting my level, which is 285, as listed at the top of the screen here, or you can look at your characters. Next is class or job, you can go into the class names tab here and copy and paste any of these. Once you click Pathfinder or your selected class, you'll notice that your hexa skills will change. Make sure they have changed. Next, there will be four options or more here for checkboxes. I'll be selecting Liberated and GMS as those fit my own personal requirements. You can go back to the help sheet, look at the translated UI, and I've listed all the translated versions of the checkboxes here. Next, instead of using the secondary sheet for classes as shown here, with the new UI, you can hover over your stat and all the information is given to you. The first box is flat stat. As you can see in my game, it shows applied value base value is 6585. So I'll be inputting that there. The next value is percent values. This is all, this is your main stat percent or your all stat percent combined. Finally, it's percent applied percent value not applied, which would be symbol stats and etc. You can put it in the third box. For me only having a one secondary stat, I'll also do the same thing for strength, but if you're a Xenon, Shadower, Kadena, or any class that uses three stats, you can input your search cherry stat as well. Next, the boxes here basically just go in order in the new character UI. It'll be range followed by final damage, IED, attack. This would be magic attack if you're a magic attack class. Cooldown reduction, cooldown skip, and abnormal status damage. On the right hand side is damage, pause, normal monster damage. Crit rate, crit damage, buff duration, ignore elemental resistance, and summon duration. As mentioned, this just goes straight down and you can copy along. For damage range, you want to input your default damage range and not your boss damage range. So for me, it'll be 79, 842, 877. Make sure your the final damage in the final damage box correlates with your final damage in game. 
Next box is damage for 74, followed by boss damage. 558, sorry. ID 95.85. For attack percent, you can hover over attack percent and you'll see the percent value for equipment item. You can just copy and paste whatever value you have you there. Crit rate 200, 1.1 for crit damage. For cooldown skip, the left hand side would be for cooldown hats or Tengu cape, and the right hand side would be for how much percent reduction you're getting from Merc Legion. I'm not wearing a cooldown hat, so I'll keep it at zero, and I have a 250 Merc as shown here. So you would just write minus six, you would just write six in the right hand side box. Buff duration is 30. I am not running skip at the moment. We have ignore elemental resistance, abnormal status, and summon duration. The last two boxes at the bottom are your arcane force and your sacred force. The top right hand side is for buffs you'll be using while bossing. Uh, the first four boxes would be your G skills levels, so I'll write 15 for ID as well. Next is stat potion. You can be running any of these plus 30. If you're using a level 9 pot, that would be plus 27, etc. This is wild hunter buff, advanced blessing from a bishop, and real sharp eyes. So these will be your external buffs before you run bosses. Echo. Legion Might, Ursus Buff, Guild Buff, Sparkling Red, Monster Perk Potions, MVP Superpower, and VIP Buff. Right underneath that would be the second potion or skill you'll be using with a Sparkling Red. The best combination for bossing is Sparkling Reds with Meister Smithing skill, so I'll have it set as that, as I also do have Meister Smithing here. For the following box, we, in GMS, we don't have the first buff, so I'll be selecting the baby food dragon. Sorry, baby dragon food. The following is your Lynx and Legion. Camus still hasn't, don't have level 3 Lynx, so the maximums for the top 4 Lynx be level 2, and for Mage and Thief it will be 6. This is Cadena, Ilium, I'm not using Ilium at the moment, I have Arc, Kane, Explorer, Mage, and Thief. The box following would be your Hexa progression. For me I am 30. The second box would be the second mastery for all classes. As it's still not in GMS, we will just keep it at zero. 15, 6, 14, 1, and 6. For Wild Hunter Legion, you just input the level of your Wild Hunter in your Legion board as the small differences in percent damage will change your, your conversion slightly. Twenty percent chance to deal sixteen, or it would be a twenty percent chance to deal twenty if I'm not mistaken. So I'll just write two ton there. This is for Union Artifact. We currently still don't have this yet, as we still have Monster Life, and the reboot still hasn't gotten its FD nerfed, so we will still keep this on pause. Personally, I use a Roar 4 and a Weapon Jump 4 in my bossing, so I'll use that. The other option would be for Continuous. If you have Roar selected or Roar Weapon Jump selected, it will ask you to input your weapon's total attack. As you can see here, for me, it is 832. 
so I'll have that input here. The last two boxes over here are the special inner abilities for classes that use passive plus one or mob targeted plus one. You would select it here. Once you're finished, you can press the green button at the bottom and your conversion sheet is shown. If you're looking for any information regarding what to do from this sheet going forward, I'll link thing in the description pointing back to my last video on Mabel Scouter. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.